This is the Huawei Connect 2025 trade show in Shanghai. What's happening here? Basically, we have here an intelligent distribution solution to predict the load mm. inside the transformer district, for example, in your residential area, and also to manage solar power in distribution, like solar panels in your house, and also to redirect the current to be used in, in better ways. These curves represent three things. The load in the transformer, when it's here, is negative, it means the person have a solar power in the house is producing more energy than being consumed. But this inverse current will cause inverse current in the transformer and can damage the infrastructure. So what we do is we put intelligent solutions to predict and also to shave this negative peak. Mm. So how we can do? Basically, we can have a battery system in that side and for example, now the current is being controlled. When we have over power, we charge the battery. And actually here, the peak shaving is not negative anymore because we switch to batteries. And basically, you can reduce this energy at night. OK. How did you do this before you had AI? Traditional metering is not able to manage this kind of inverters or battery systems. Then they have a smart a meter system they call AMI. Mm. This kind of system can only do the management of metering, but no inverters. So they will have three different systems. Mm. With this one, basically wow. it's one platform for all. More efficient, more intelligent, yeah. and also unified management, unified platform. Here, we have the architecture of this kind of system. In the cloud, we run all the intelligent systems, like the distribution transformer management system, uh, mes message flow, another unified system that help to manage the whole equipments and devices. Mm. But what is important, we talk one ECU is in the transformer, but in fact this ECU need to have a way to communicate back to the command center mm. because we are talking with the cloud. So in this way we have the pipe. In the pipe, Huawei is an expert in this area. We have the private wireless network or we have the optical fiber network as well. Jipon, here we have several <laughs> technologies. Now, we have the edge, which we already talked and explained how it works, is the ECU, edge computing unit. But below this, we have a protocol we call HPLC, high speed power line communication. Mm -hmm. So in this way, you don't need to install new cables. You use the same power line to communicate with meters, solar inverters, battery system, and electric vehicle chargers. This is actually the classic architecture of next generation industrialization, isn't it? Because you've got your IoT going into, uh, with all of the information, the data being brought up uh, and, and collated at the edge of the network. That's really where the action is, using your, and then sent into the cloud using uh, private 5G or, or optical, and then the cloud is mm -hmm. taking care of business, all centralized. It could be anywhere, the cloud. I mean, the cloud can be, you know, this uh, cloud could be in Shenzhen and, you know, uh, uh, the electrical system could be here in Shanghai, right? Uh, you are right. Yeah. Uh, in fact, uh, in so many other maybe applications, no electricity, they can call industrial IoT, hmm. similar architecture, but here's dedicated to power. And it seems to me that the, uh, the energy industry, the grid, is really moving ahead very quickly with this, isn't it? You know, when we talk about smart meterings, sometimes these meterings will help you to know how much is your power consumption. But this is mainly sometimes just to digitalize the information. Mm. What happens is, because the electric vehicles is increasing a lot, it will have additional load in the system. Mm. And also, so many people is generating power. Mm. So you need intelligent distribution solution or intelligent distribution system to be able to control all these variables yeah to protect the infrastructure. When we have the power grid, we have many assets in it. Mm. We have generation plants, we have transformation and transmission. Actually, you see intelligent substations, you can see intelligent power distribution, and you can see generation plants, hydro, maybe you have solar. So this kind of system will help you to manage mm. all the assets of the power grid. So in the power distribution, you can see in this map, the energy generated in solar panels in the distribution grid. As a city level, imagine you have one million, two million, three million solar panels. How you manage this independently? It's impossible. You need AI and a smart system like this one. And in fact, if we click one of these 
transformer or even meter districts, we can in fact see wow. device level, the meter, and also all the infrastructure and manage. When there is some failure, they will detect and send to the operator to go to the field. Now we have intelligent systems to predict maybe some problems Predictive. and also to analyze the data. Mm -hmm. But the final decision needs to be taken by the human ah. because we still have uh, some operations need to be human. Yeah. So we have a combination of both. Yeah. It's more like AI assisted yes. than fully AI operated. That makes, that makes good sense. Thank you, Paolo. Nice Thank to you. meet you. Nice to meet you. Cheers. Thank you.